Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Michael from FOSS Linux Journal. The question of the best Linux distribution is a long-standing one in Linux communities, forums and social media. However, there is no definitive answer. In fact, it's fair to say that there is no single best Linux distribution. The answer largely depends on what matters most to you. This video explores why the question of the best Linux distro can't be answered with a one-size-fits-all response. Let's dive in. Videos like this often raise questions, spark feelings and stir opinions. I receive many messages all asking the same question. Which distro can I recommend? So in this video I'll offer a few personal recommendations with explanations as to why. This video is not unnecessarily long. I will try to explain the most important points briefly and clearly. Let's dive into the first point. Linux distributions vary widely catering to different user groups and purposes. A distro perfect for a beginner may not suit a developer and a server-optimized distro may not be ideal for desktop use. For example, desktop-focused distros like Ubuntu, Linux Mint and Fedora emphasizes a user-friendly interface while server-focused ones like RHEL, Debian, SUSE prioritize performance and security often foregoing a graphical interface. Your technical expertise also plays a significant role in choosing a distro. Beginners benefit from distros with straightforward interfaces and easy setup like Ubuntu or Linux Mint. In contrast, advanced users may prefer more customizable options like Arch Linux or Gen2 which demand deeper knowledge and manual setup. Some distros are optimized for older hardware, e.g. Lubuntu, Xubuntu or MX Linux, while others support modern systems like Fedora or Ubuntu. Software compatibility is also a factor as some distros offer wide repositories and package managers like APT or RPM. Distros also vary philosophically. Some prioritize open source purity, e.g. Triskel, PureOS or Debian, while others balance freedom with usability. This approach can affect the availability of proprietary drivers and software, potentially making some distros more restrictive but appealing to users committed to open source principles. Distros like Debian, RHEL and Ubuntu are known for the stability making them popular in enterprise environments. Many offer long-term support versions that receive updates for extended periods. This is ideal for users who want a stable system for work. Community and commercial support also vary, with larger distros like Ubuntu and Fedora benefiting from vast user communities and documentation, while specialized ones like Gentoo have smaller, technically skilled communities. Distros differ in how they handle updates. Many follow a fixed release model, e.g. Ubuntu or Fedora, while others are rolling releases, e.g. Arch or OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, offering continuous updates but sometimes at the cost of stability. For users seeking stability over cutting-edge features, LTS versions are often the best choice. For versatility and user-friendliness, consider these three distros. First, Ubuntu. Beginner-friendly with a large community, strong support and easy-to-navigate interface. Second, Linux Mint. Ideal for Windows converts with intuitive design and stability and multiple desktop environments. Third, Fedora. Features the latest technologies backed by Red Hat, suitable for those exploring newer software and development environments. Ultimately, the best Linux distro depends on your needs, skills and preferences. Factors like stability, usability, community support and philosophy all play a role. Instead of searching for the universally best distro, identify what you need from an operating system and choose accordingly. 
For Windows users transitioning to Linux, Ubuntu or Linux Mint are great starting points, offering user-friendliness and strong software and hardware compatibility. And if you find that these distros meet your needs, there is no reason to feel pressured to move on to a more complex distro. But now I'm interested in your opinion. Please share your opinions in the comments. Have you switched to Linux? What are your considerations? What is your feedback? Just share it with us in the comments. If you like this video, please leave a free channel subscription, give the video a thumbs up and with the bell activated, you'll be notified immediately after a new video was released. If you want to go further with your YouTube channel subscription, you can support my project directly. I say thank you in advance. In the end card, there are two more interesting videos for you. One handles the differences between Windows and Linux and the other addresses the question, is Linux better than Windows? Check them out. Thank you for the kind attention, ladies and gentlemen. See you soon. Peace.